Hey all you book lovers and YouTubers out there, I have returned with a book review for you guys and it is on Vampire Crush by A.M. Robinson. I'm going to start off by reading the back of the book and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So, normal house, normal family, normal school. My family looks are average. I don't have any superpowers, no one's showing up to tell me I'm a princess. You get the picture. But when my junior year starts, something not normal happened. There were new kids at the school. New kids with a wardrobe straight out of the 19th century romance novel. And an unexpected desire to stay at school until sundown. And on top of that, James Hollowell shows up. James who stole my sandwiches in fourth grade and teased me mercilessly through middle school. James, who now seems to have the power to make my heart race any time he comes near. But something weird is going on, because James rarely goes out during the day, and he seems stronger than your typical guy, and he knows the new kids, all of whom seem to be harboring some kind of deep secret. So what this book is basically about is about a young girl named Sophie, and she lives with her father, her stepsister, and her stepmom. And she ever all she's ever wanted is to become a editor in chief at her school and her big ideas of a great story are put on the shelf when she is uh, told that she has to do other things uh, instead. She has to do a paper on these uh, new kids that have come to school. And these new kids act very strange, just like what the back says of it. Um, they look like they just came out, stepped out of a 19th century romance book. And Sophie is wondering uh, what these uh, new kids want and what their big deal is. And so she uh, is uh, tries to figure out some more information about these kids, and she just. Um, uncovers something unreal, <laughs> very shocking to her. And what's even more weirder is that her uh, uh, closest uh, childhood friend comes back to town, um, James. And James was, he always used to tease her, and, uh, and they got along very well when they were kids, but uh, they were really uh, always uh, do things together um, at their house because they lived uh, door to door next door to each other and and they all so that's how they always uh, went to, um, she always went to his house and they uh, did stuff together but then when a tragic accident something happens to uh, James parents he has to move to a uh, live with some relatives and then that, and then somehow he comes back um, unexpectedly, and Sophie learned some things why he was gone and some other things when he gets back and turns up. So and then when he comes to school, things get um, um, awkward because uh, she sees that um, he knows the new kids, and for some reason. He acts almost similar to what they do, his, um, his actions, and he seems really stronger than he used to be. He's, uh, um, he he, he has, has the desire to uh, stay until uh, sundown, and the only time they do meet is uh, when the sun's down, so uh, she kind of wonders if uh, something happened between them and she wants to know what it is. So uh, so what this book is basically about is her desire of figuring out uh, more about these new kids and James and also uh, trying to become um, what she wants to be, her dream of becoming editor-in-chief. And uh, her dreams of becoming one just uh, is just going through this crazy uh, a, a venture <laughs> and 
uh, it just has a lot of suspense and drama and romance. There's just all kinds of stuff in this book. And so many twists and turns. There's uh, surprises. There's a... It just really surprised you through the whole book, and that's what I really enjoyed about it. And I give this book 8 out of um, 10 stars. It was really enjoyable. Uh, the characters were really fun characters. There were a few characters that I um, did not like very much, but the, um, some of them were very well-developed uh, characters. The plot was really good. I really enjoyed the ending. The ending was excellent. Um, and so yeah, and the pa oh I almost forgot the pacing was also very good too. I um if the pacing is not very good, <laughs> it kind of takes me a while to uh, finish it. But anyways, the pacing was really good. So anyways, that's what this book is about. And I hope you guys enjoyed my review on Vampire Crush. So uh, look forward for a uh, book haul slash in my mailbox after this, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.